Hello, Purple Rosa here, and I'm continuing on in Blackwood. And I was just doing some exploring. I was just exploring up here, and I came across the Shrine of Nocturnal. And saw that there's a quest here. So I'm going to do this quickly before heading to Gideon. My Lady Nocturnal, I beg you. Ungrateful child. Bear the consequence of your failure with grace. You mortal, I command you to speak with me. Uh, I wonder if she'll remember us from some sit. Because we put a stop to her plans. The torment I face is my burden to bear. If only my lady would show me mercy. She's not going to be happy seeing me again. If she remembers. Darkness curse you and the land you have traveled, mortal. Were I not otherwise occupied with that sniveling wretch of an acolyte, I would tear you to shreds. She remembers. She remembers. Your acolyte. Yes, a faithless weakling named Melona Brolis. When thieves came to my property, she spoke to them as friends and asked them to stop, as if that would stay their hands. What did these thieves steal exactly? The Shade Sickle, a powerful instrument of my will. For her inability to protect it, Melona will never sleep again. I wonder how long she can last. Perhaps you have the metal to return my sickle. With it, you would reap great reward. That's right. The sickle that can tear your shadow away. The necromancer tried to steal it. Well, he paid people to steal it. So I'll find this sickle for you. I will bear witness. Do not fail me. Now, speak to my acolyte and find the cowardly fools who dare to steal from me. I faced you before. How do I know this isn't another plot? A petty quarrel. I am eternal mortal. Do you think I see your impertinence as more than a flicker in the candle of time? My sickle was stolen. I want it returned. That is all. How can I trust you? Trust or doubt, it makes little difference to me. I am overlooking your past transgressions, mortal. If petty grudges would prevent you from reaping my blessings, so be it. How can I even be sure that you're really nocturnal? Your doubts do you credit, mortal. But in your heart, you know the truth. Your shadow grows long and dark. The shades of Evergloam dance at the edge of your sight. I am Erdra. I am nocturnal. Leave it. So yeah, this sickle. Bloodrun Cave. There was a necromancer there who was tearing shadows from people and he wanted the sickle. And he paid people to steal it. But I guess they never delivered it to him because I did wonder where the sickle was. <laughs> now we get to get it from the thieves. Not an object that people should have. If I repent fervently enough, Nocturnal may show me mercy. Yeah, without sleep you won't last long. <laughs> You're Melona Brolis, right? What happened to the Shade Sickle? I was here, honoring the mistress as I do every night, when Giovanni and Darin, some people I knew growing up in Leowin, stepped out of the shadows. They took my lady's relic. I, I tried to stop them, but I... I just couldn't. Do you know where they took it? No. Darin had a sword to my throat. I've never seen her so desperate. I don't know what's become of the sickle, but Giovanni has a room in Leowin, around the corner from the bank. He might still be there. What should I do if I find him? They said they were going to meet after delivering the sickle to Tuma Mazath. Maybe you could follow Giovanni to this meeting? 
Tuma Mazath is a powerful necromancer. My friends are in more trouble than I am. Please help them. I'll pay you. Mazath is dead. I killed him. Alright, I'll track down Giovanni and follow him to the meeting. If you can find Giovanni in Leowin, follow him to his meeting with Darin. And also, I know it's a lot to ask, but could you try to get them to abandon all this? The thieving and conspiring? It's not worth it. I just want them to be safe. These people stole from you. Are they really your friends? Giovanni is a kind person, and Darin is abrasive, but she stood up for all of us when we were little. I know them. They aren't bad people. And if I'm right about Tuma Mazath, no one deserves the fate he has in store for them. How do you know Tuma Mazath? He used to visit the shrine once a fortnight. Always just said he was paying his respects. I had no idea what he was plotting, what he was capable of. If he pairs the power of the sickle with his necromancy, I'm not sure what will happen. Don't worry about him. He's no longer living. <laughs> You've got a knack for stumbling across those things. So, back to Leowin. Maybe they were just desperate and needed the money? But yeah, after reading Mazath's journal, he said he was going to use the sickle on the thieves. Tear their shadows away. So, did you finish your dangerous job for Tuma Mazath? Shh. There are guards around. We'll speak later. This is a completely normal stroll through the streets. The special. Uh, why can't I talk to him? Gotta follow him, I guess. Stealth there. Into the temple? Okay. Because the temple is a good place for a meeting. People will think you're here for religious whatever when you're not. Stealing from Nocturnal and working with Tuma Mazath doesn't seem worth the risk. It's what the necromancer needs to complete his ritual in Bloodrun Cave. Of course it's worth it. Just stay here until we receive further instructions. He's dead. <laughs> Who are you? What did you hear? Your friend, Milona Brolis, thinks you're in danger. She's always been a worrier, even when we were kids. Huh. Milona's probably right. I only have to think about her employer and I break out into a cold sweat. When I'm done with this job, I'm going to become a carpenter. Fewer terrifying clients. So why are you working for Tuma Mazaf? Who told you that? Milona? I won't apologize for what happened the last time I saw her, and you can tell her that yourself. Uh, find a straight line of work. Letter to Doreen. Doreen, it's come to my attention that the two of you are looking for work of a nature not normally sanctioned by those who step outside the shadows. I too am searching for people who are unafraid of the night and have no qualms about courting danger. Assist me and you shall be rewarded as befits your involvement. If you are interested, there is a relic of a crier. A sacred sickle housed at the Shrine of Nocturnal to the north east of Leowen, not far from Fort Redmain. Bring the shade sickle to Blood Run Cave and I shall make sure you do not live to see a poor day for the rest of your lives. A lie. What do you want? You wouldn't happen to know what happened to Nocturnal Shade Sickle, would you? Who have you been talking to? Malona? She went crazy after she found religion. Judging us when she worships Nocturnal. Psst. Never could appreciate irony. If you don't stop thieving right now, make sure Nocturnal knows your name. Alright. 
No need to bring that shadowy hag into this. Look, Geo doesn't know this, but Tuma Mazath said he'd turn us into his eternal slaves if we didn't help him. You stop that necromancer, and I'll find a more respectable occupation. Promise. Well, she was going to turn you into his slaves anyway. <laughs> I've already killed him, though. Uh, back to Blood Run Cave. Just have to kill him again. <laughs> but I guess when I first came in here and exhumed the bodies of those uh, shadow scales that we technically didn't kill Mathis, the necro. So we get to properly kill him now, I guess. Even though I technically already killed him. <laughs> Make this permanent. You will not stop me. They are mine to control. They are not. Eternal. What angry at you? Yeah, I gotta read that letter again. I've already read before. So yeah, the blade has the ability to separate the living from their shadows. And see why Nocturnal wouldn't want that to be used. And yeah, the two he hired, they perform their tasks semi-adequately. And yeah, he was gonna Control their every action anyway. So, oh, yeah, there's the sickle. Okay, let's go back to the shrine. Where was it? Up there. But yeah, the sickle. I did. Let's hit the trail try to look for it when I was first in Blood Run Cave, but I totally missed it. Yeah. Cause a relic like that should not be in the hands of a necromancer. Got it. The shade sickle is gone. My friends are employed by a necromancer, and Nocturnal continues to torment me. I hope you can set this to rights. I will. Hopefully she'll grant you your sleep again once this is done. You return to me at last. I do, I have your sickle. The faithless wanderer succeeds where my servants fail. Once again, the fruits of devotion prove inferior to the benefits of skill. Claim your reward from Malona, mortal. You find favor in the shadows. Oh, I'm glad we're not enemies anymore. So, did you just return the Shade Sickle? Is my lady appeased? Yes, I returned it. Oh, thank goodness that's over. Now that Nocturnal has the sickle, maybe she'll show me mercy. What about the necromancer Tuma Mazath? 
He's officially dead. Hmm. I didn't think he would willingly part with a relic. Good. The sickle should never be used in a necromancer's ritual. I'll make sure it's well hidden next time. No thief will ever claim it again. Speaking of which, are my friends alright? I was able to convince both of them to choose a new life. That's a relief. Gio and Darin are good people. I know they are. Hopefully we can all put this behind us. I don't know. Didn't like Doreen when she spoke to me. <laughs> so do you think this will be enough to repair your standing with Nocturnal? Maybe. I hope so. Whether my friends and I will ever be able to move past all this, that's another matter. Here's your reward. Without your help, well, there's no telling what my lady is capable of. Thank you. And may the shadows guide you. And you? I guess? I can't thank you enough. Nocturnal is wise and powerful, but in her realm of Evergloom, forgiveness is in very short supply. Yeah? So you're really going to stay with Nocturnal even though she threatened to torture you? Of course. The failure was mine. I earned whatever rebuke my lady had planned for me. Faith isn't a matter of convenience, my friend. My lady is unfathomable. Powerful. Eternal. I will follow her wisdom. Whatever the cost. Yeah. And I follow Azura. Yeah. It was nice that we actually did learn about the sickle. And we were able to officially kill the necromancer. So... Yeah, she better not hide the sickle, because you can't just leave it there. Anyone could come back to take it. So yeah, I'm going to end this one here. And continue questing in the next one. Thanks for watching.